These are American-made crimp terminals and lugs for battery cables and are a great way to make or repair assemblies in the shop or field. Let me show you how they work. First, you match the gauge of the wire to the terminal size and then you match it to the die nest on the crimping tool. Cleanly cut the wire, strip it three quarters of an inch, then slide on the heat shrink tubing. Insert the wire and crimp. Crimp first at the colored stripe on the open end, and then make a second crimp at the other colored stripe. Then activate the heat shrink to help prevent corrosion and to act as strain relief. Allow me to pause to show you a terminal I previously crimped and then cut straight through at a crimp point. Look how solid the copper is with no gaps and a full 360 degree seal. This is a solid crimp. You may already be familiar with inferior foundry or sand cast terminals. TIFCO's crimp terminals are so much better because they are die cast, making them more precise and consistent for better finished crimps. This die casting allows each terminal to be marked and color coded to match standard SAE sizes and colors. The polarity is even indicated to help avoid confusion. TIFCO's crimp terminals also have 25 to 40 percent more clamp strength versus sand cast terminals, plus over 25 times the conductivity that is required per SAE specifications. Finally, these ends are chamfered for easier cable insertion. You may also be familiar with a clamp style of terminal. Here, one terminal fits a wide range of cables. In this case, number six to two aught. But when something fits multiple sizes, it doesn't really fit any size. To use these, you strip the wire, insert it into the terminal, and then tighten these bolts. But how tight? I have no idea how much torque is required. Plus, these are steel bolts in a zinc housing, so they are very easy to strip and cross thread. Once tightened, the connection is not that strong, there is no strain relief, and there is a lot of exposed copper, which will lead to corrosion problems. There isn't even an easy way to seal this connection. TIFCO's crimp battery terminals are significantly easier to install and provide a much better connection. TIFCO offers straight, flag, elbows, lugs, splices, and locking terminal stubs in both positive and negative polarities, as well as a universal option. There are several assortments available. First, there are five 73-piece tray assortments. Part number 84846 is for a number one size. Part number 85918 is for one aught. Part number 85919 is for two aught. Part number 84847 is for three aught. And part number 85915 is a four aught tray. TIFCO has also created complete shop assortments that contain a tray assortment, crimp tool, stripping tool, and color coded cables and heat shrink tubing in both red and black. Part number 44999 is for one aught, part number 44998 is for two aught, and part number 44996 is for a four aught complete shop assortment. Finally, there are battery crimp kits that come with terminals, a crimper, a strip tool, and heat shrink tubing, all in a single portable heavy duty steel carrying case. Part number 44995 is for a one aught kit and part number 44994 is a two-odd version.